Changing verbs to the past tense in Japanese is really easy, but there are a few rules that you have to learn. Let's first look at how to change RU verbs to the past tense. For this, you change the RU to PA. For example, MIRU, which means to see, becomes MITA to mean SAW. Now, let's look at how to conjugate U verbs. If a U verb ends in U, TSU or RU, you change that part into TA. If it ends in SU, you change that part into SHTA. If it ends in NU, BU or MU, you change that part into NDA. And if it ends in KU or GU, you change that part into ITA or IDA respectively. For example, TOBU, which means to jump, becomes TONDA to mean jumped. The SURU and KURU verbs are exceptions which have different rules. You change the entire verb to SHTA and KITA respectively. The verb IKU is also an exception in the past tense. This becomes ITTA instead of ITA. Please follow for more Japanese tips.